welcome back to Girls Gourmet. Last time we did three easy hors d'oeuvres for a dinner party. This time we're going to do three salads. First course, um, you might want to do an amuse. Um, we'll go over those in another episode. But today we're going to do three easy salads, all of which are take just a few minutes, not too much prep. So when you are having your dinner party, there's you know you could do some stuff before and then uh, be able to sit with your guests. The first one we're going to do is a classic Caesar, and it's you know you can do it in a buffet in a big bowl, or you could plate them uh, individually if you're doing a dinner party. So what we're going to start with today is going with the ingredients. We need some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, a clove of garlic, an egg yolk. One lemon, some Dijon mustard, grated parm, salt, pepper, anchovy paste, and lettuce. And our favorite tool, the mini Cuisinart, which we make all our dressings in. So how we're going to start today is we're just going to start off by chopping the lettuce. And I buy pre-washed romaine hearts. Makes life a lot easier. So you just cut off the core. And then you're just going to chop it. I take off the top roughly part. I don't think it tastes as good. Um, really, the core is the crunchy part. So we're just going to put that in our bowl. And you can do this earlier, and without dressing, the lettuce should stay for a couple hours. You can keep it in the refrigerator, it'll keep it nice and crispy. Put that to the side, and now we're going to make the dressing. So we're going to start with our garlic. Quick tip, I buy garlic that's already pre-peeled. Um, it comes in a jar, it's great. It saves a lot of time peeling the garlic. So, one large clove of garlic. Again, if you're not a garlic lover, you can use a smaller one. Um, and we're going to grind that up. The next thing we do is we put an egg yolk in. If you cuddle the egg for a, a minute in boiling water, it kills any bacteria. And then you can, you know, de-yolk it uh, after you coddle it. So. Um, we do use, you know, it's not really necessarily raw, um, an egg yolk. Next we put lemon juice. I use the juice of one lemon, so that's your measurement. You, know, you want to take the pits out, take a fork, and just squeeze the lemon in. You know, sometimes the pits will fall in and you really just want to make sure you get those out so it doesn't break your machine. The pits that fell in. Okay, when we're finished with our lemons, the next thing we're going to do is classic Caesars do have anchovies. I do not like to deal with the anchovy fish itself, it's sort of gross. So I buy anchovy paste. Longer you keep it in your fridge and it's easier to work with. So we're just going to take one squeeze. If you need an exact me measurement, it's a teaspoon of anchovy paste. Next, we're going to do a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. tablespoon of red wine vinegar. As you can see, I'm not measuring, but I'm guessing. But again, if you don't trust yourself and you want the exact measurements, these are the. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. A little salt. And we are going to blend that together. Now 
we're going to add, all together it's going to be a half a cup of oil, um, more or less. You know, if you're looking to cut the fat, I would use a quarter to a half a cup. Um, a lot of classic recipes say three quarters of a cup. I think it's too much and it's unnecessary. So we're going to start to pour a little and you'll see it'll start to emulsify. serving this. You can take your lettuce out of the refrigerator if you've already pre-cut it. We are going to add um, a cup of grated parm and that would be for three hearts of lettuce a cup. Um, so I'm just going to use some of it because this is only say one to cup one uh, heart of lettuce. Make sure. Now most likely you will have extra dressing. Save it in the refrigerator. It's great. You can put it, you know, you can make any type of salad um, with the Caesar dressing. You can do cucumbers, tomatoes, onions. You know, this is the classic. So um, do not overdress your lettuce. Less is more. You don't want it to get soggy. Now another quick tip. These guys, great for tossing salad. Usually you use them on the grill and um, they're a great tool. When you're serving and if you're doing a buffet, I wouldn't use these. They're not as nice uh, in presentation, but to toss it and if you're going to serve each person uh, individually, they're a great tool. Now back to the first episode we talked about white plates. Everything looks best on a white plate. So if we're plating this for our guests, I'll give them a nice amount in the middle. And then, if you want to make it a little fancier, we take Parmesan. You can either grate it, or if you have a cheese slate, you can make thicker sli slices with, cheese, with a cheese slice. And we are going to just grate some, some cheese right there on the top. It's a great, great first course. And there you are, classic salad. If you want to add croutons, you can. I think they're unnecessary. The salad stands on its own and is a wonderful first course. All right, we're back, and we are going to do uh, 